Yo, 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 what's up, my Gaines community? It's your boy Gaines. Yo, today is the first start of my new segment called Superset Saturdays. Now, what is Superset Saturdays exactly? Good question. Well, for those of you that may not know what a superset is, a superset is basically performing two exercises back to back without any rest. Now, the typical superset would be opposing body parts. For example, let's say I'm doing a bench press. Then immediately once I finish my reps of that bench press, I will go into something such as, let's say bent over rows as an example. They're opposing body groups. So the chest workout would be chest, tri, shoulders, and then the back bent over row would be back, traps, etc. You get the idea. Well, for my case in particular, what I'll be doing is a little atypical. It's still a superset in my mind, and to me, in my opinion, but I'm doing the same body part. So for example, I'll do a bench press and then I'll immediately finish that bench press and go into a push up and burn out or something. Now, um, I'll do that maybe one or two sets, but I'm not doing that my whole workout. So this is just to show you some ideas whenever you decide you wanna incorporate some different supersets into your workouts. Now, so what's the purpose of the superset you might ask? Good question. The purpose of the superset is to push yourself to the extreme to not always do the same things that you've always done, or you'll always get the same results that you've always got. But furthermore, it's to condition you and to give you that overall push so that you can increase your stamina, okay? So you can go longer, go stronger, if you know what I mean, eh? Anyways, so that's what the supersets is for now. If you decide to incorporate supersets, good for you. I think it's good, like I said. I just wouldn't do them your whole workout. Do a uh, last, you know, couple of sets or something like that. Um, if you do not have access to the things that I'm doing as far as the exercise equipment or for example a pull up bar then there are excuse me there are alternatives okay and you don't exactly have to do that same workout you can do something different for example if, if I'm doing a bent over row you can do a inverted row or something where you lie down and you pull yourself up from the ground okay it's all depending on you but the most important thing is to do it and do it to the best of your ability, you gotta pick the weight that you know you can do a good amount, and then that you'll have enough energy and stamina to do the next uh, part of the superset, okay? So I'll leave that on you. I don't wanna sit here and tell you you need to do X amount of pounds or X amount of kilos, but um, so I'll leave that to you because you guys know your strength of it better than I do. All right, let's get it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do bent over rows, I got 175 on the bar. I'm gonna do six reps, and then immediately I'm gonna put the bar down. I'm gonna come here and get six more reps on the pull-up bar, okay? Let's go. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that I was gonna hold it for six seconds because that's just what I do. I'm a beast, you know what I'm saying? I'm a beast. Anyways, that's the superset, y'all. All right, all right, same thing, different angle. Let's go. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this weekend's episode. Stay tuned for next Saturday as I drop another Superset Saturday.